Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study lab program 12. Write a program to print the following patterns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and 1. So, let us write n is equal to. So, it is a variable of a type integer. And in a input statement, we will ask the user to enter the number of rows. End the double quotation mark and close these brackets. Now we are going to use the iterative statement that is for loop. For i is a variable in range. Here I am going to write n, comma, 0, comma, 1, and then colon as per the syntax of for iterative statement. After this for loop, I am going to write one more iterative statement which is inside this outer for loop. It is called nested for loop. For j in range, here I am going to write 1 comma i plus 1 and then put colon. And here after giving indentation, I am going to print the value of j. Here I am going to write print j, then put comma. Here I am going to use end is equal to in a single pair of quotation mark, you can give the space so that you can separate the numbers. Now, with alignment of this inner for loop, I am going to write one more print statement with empty braces so that we can bring the cursor down to the next line. Now, it is time to go for writing output. So, here we will write output. Once you execute this program, it will ask the user to enter the number of rows. Here I am going to write enter the number of rows. So, for example, here I am going to uh, type 5. So, 5 will be stored in the variable called n. Next, outer for loop i is in range n is 5 and it has to stop at 0, comma minus 1. So, it has to decrement each time the value of the variable n. Next, for j in range 1 comma i plus 1. So, here it must start with 1 and end with i plus 1. So, i is the value of n here. So, it is going to print j value with this space. So, here j for the first time it is 1 and for range n is 5. So, here it is going to start from 1. So, i value is what? It is 5. So, 5 plus 1 it will become 6. So, whenever we use a range function, range function has got three arguments. The first one is start and the second one is stop and the third one is step. You can observe here in the inner loop, it is given, start is given as 1 and stop is given as i plus 1 and here step by default it is going to increment the value of j by 1. So, it must start with value 1. So, 1 and n value is what? It is 5. So, 5 plus 1 it will become 6. So, it is always exclusive of that number that is 6. So, it starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, here it is going to print for the first iterative statement it is going to print 1. Once again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1. Now j is 2. 5 plus 1 is 6 which is less than 2. Hence it is going to print 2. Once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1. Now it is going to print the value 3. Once again control transfers to inner for loop and it is going to print value 4. Once again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1. So it is going to print 5. So here exclusive of 5 plus 1 that is 6. Before 6, 5 will come. Hence, it is going to stop at 5. Then, it is going to execute this particular print statement so that the cursor can come down to the next line. Now, control transfers to the outer for loop by decrementing the value of n by 1. Earlier, it was 5. Now, it is going to be 4. So, it is going to stop at 4. You can observe here 
the inner for loop again it starts from 1 so it is going to print 1 once again control transfers to inner for loop and now it is going to print 2 3 and then 4 why because here i value is what 4 4 plus 1 will become 5 so it will be stopping at 4 in the same way once again this particular print will get executed so that the cursor will come down to the next line control transfers to outer for loop by decrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 3 now j value is 1 so 3 plus 1 it will become 4 so 4 is exclusive so it has to stop at 3 so that is it is going to print 1 2 and 3 so using this particular print statement we are going to iterate this inner for loop three times one two and three so once again this particular print statement will get executed so that the cursor can come down to the next line once again the control transfers to outer for loop by decrementing the value of n by one now n value is two because earlier it was three three minus one is two now you can observe the inner for loop j in range it starts from one 2 plus 1 it will become 3 so exclusive of 3 gives me 2 so 1 2 it is going to print so here for the first time j value will become 1 once again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j value is 2 and here 2 plus 1 it is 3 exclusive of 3 it stops at 2 now once again this particular statement print statement will get executed and the cursor will come down to the next slide the control transfers to outer for loop by decrementing the value of i by 1. Now i value is 1. Earlier it was 2. Now it is 1. That is 2 minus 1. That gives me 1. Now for j in range. So it starts from 1. 1 plus 1. It will become 2. So it is going to stop at 1. 1 comma 1. So because 1 plus 1 is exclusive of 2. That stops at 1. So it starts at 1 and stops at 1. So it is going to print the value of j that is 1 and it is going to stop. Once again, this particular print statement will get executed. The cursor will come down to the next line. Control transfers to outer for loop by decrementing the value of i by 1. Earlier it was 1. So now 1 minus 1, it will become 0. Here it should stop before 0. So it has to stop at 1 because of this particular value because the middle value is stop it has to stop at 1 so here it is going to uh, return the false value hence the control will come out of this entire iterative statement and it is going to stop executing and it is going to display this particular pattern now it is time for execution let us execute and check out the result now we have uh, come to VS code. Let us uh, click on new file and here I am going to type lab12.py is the extension and I will press enter and here you can observe we have entered into lab12.py file. Now let us write n is equal to int and inside the round bracket I am going to write input and in a double quotation mark I will ask the user to enter the number of rows now i'm going to fast forward this video so that we can save our time now it's uh, time to save this particular file by pressing ctrl s and let us execute this program go to run click on start debugging click on python debugger then you can observe here in the terminal it is asking the user to enter the number of rows for example i am going to enter 5 and press enter here you can observe the pattern i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood and if you want to check out this particular program along with the flowchart then the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next video